In League of Legends, champions that deal physical damage will often use attack damage runes, armor penetration runes, or some combination of the two. On today's episode of LolMath, we'll be comparing which combination of runes is the most efficient, depending on the situation. First, let's take a look at the stats granted by the runes we'll be examining. Marks and Quintessences of Strength boost a champion's attack damage. A Mark of Strength grants 0.95 attack damage, and a Quintessence of Strength grants 2.25 attack damage. Marks and Quintessences of Desolation boost a champion's armor penetration. A Mark of Desolation grants 1.66 armor penetration, and a Quintessence of Desolation grants 3.33 armor penetration. Before we get into any examples, let's take a look at the five different rune combinations we'll be analyzing. Rune Page 1 has 9 Marks of Strength and 3 Quintessences of Strength for a total of 15.3 attack damage. Rune page 2 has 9 marks of desolation and 3 quintessences of desolation, for a total of 24.93 armor penetration. Rune page 3 has 9 marks of desolation and 3 quintessences of strength, for a total of 14.94 armor penetration and 6.75 attack damage. Rune page 4 has 9 marks of strength and 3 quintessences of desolation, for a total of 8.55 attack damage and 9.99 armor penetration. And finally, Rune Page 5 has 6 marks of desolation, 3 marks of strength, and 3 quintessences of strength, for a total of 9.96 armor penetration and 9.6 attack damage. We'll be testing the efficiency of a champion with each of these rune pages against two target champions with different amounts of armor. The targets are a level 1 Ash with 9 seals of resilience and a level 18 Ash with 9 seals of resilience. Against our first target, which has 27.59 armor, we'll assume the attacking champion has 50 attack damage since it's the start of the game. If we plug each rune page's attack damage and armor penetration values into the armor calculation formula, we see that the first rune page with 15.3 attack damage grants the most overall damage, with the fifth rune page with 9.6 attack damage and 9.96 armor penetration coming in second. Our second target is level 18 and has 85.39 armor. We'll assume that since the game is in a much later state, our champion with 50 attack damage now has 175 attack damage, due to items and leveling up. If we plug each rune page's attack damage and armor penetration values into the armor calculation formula, we see that the second rune page with 24.93 armor penetration grants the most overall damage, with the fifth rune page with 9.6 attack damage and 9.96 armor penetration coming in second. It should also be noted that the best rune page in the previous example is now the worst rune page in this example. In conclusion, the first rune page is a good choice if one wants to excel early in the game, while the second rune page is a good choice if one wants to excel later in the game. Also, the fifth rune page can be very beneficial if one wants to do well in both stages of the game, as the damage it grants is only slightly less than rune pages 1 and 2. Finally, it should be taken into account that a rune page with large amounts of attack damage will make it easier to kill melee and caster minions as opposed to a rune page with armor penetration. This is because their armor value starts at zero and slowly increases as the game goes on. This episode of Lawmass was brought to you by KillSteelGaming.com. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Lawmass, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Lawmass video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.